This rivalry has always been a big thing for these two programs. These two programs circle this game every year when this schedule is released. This year is no different as Kansas State looks to take Kansas out of the running for a national title. Can Kansas beat down the Cats and get that big rivalry win? The 688 The Bull Radio, Kansas Jayhawk football press conference with head coach Slacker Gaming. Coach, as always, this is a big game for both programs. But what makes this game so big for both teams? I, I think it's big because we're, we're rivals. As growing up as a Kansas fan and attending the University of Kansas, we don't like K-State. We want to beat them every chance we can get, no matter what the sport and it's, it's about bragging rights, knowing you're the best in the state. Your team is getting closer to that undefeated season for the second year in a row. What are you telling them to keep them focused? Not really a ton. They're, they're fully focused on their own, and they're, they focus on the game at hand. And I told them that if they just focus one game at a time and do the things that the coaching staff wants, um, we'll be undefeated at the end of the season. So far, they've been able to do that, and we've stayed undefeated. Why do you think your team could go undefeated for two years in a row? Well, we do have a ton of talent, and last year's team was beyond talented. This year's team is no different, and we just have to take that talent and gel together within the team to be great. Because this is a rivalry game, do you feel like the game is bigger than any of the other games you've played so far this year? I think it's an important game, but we have played a ton of big games this year um, that would compare to this. So I, I think our guys are super amped for this game and this week, but I, I think we'll see the same energy as you've seen this whole year so far. Thank you, Coach, and good luck. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The name of the rivalry just seems so calm. The Sunflower Showdown. Trust me, they won't be handing out bouquets to one another. The Jayhawks and the Wildcats, Kansas and K-State get set for an in-state rivalry. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David Nunderway. Welcome to Manhattan, Kansas, where the number one Kansas Jayhawks coming into town to play their rival, much-hated Kansas State. Moss is going to return this one. Pretty big gain, 41 yards on the return there, up to the 40. Kansas is going to start with great field position. Second and six. Kansas. Perry going to hand this one off to Zap. Zaps finds room on the right side. He's got room. Takes on the defender head-to-head, -head, 20 yards on the rush before being brought down by the safety from Kansas State. A little bit of a little shimmy there past the line, gets him open, 20 yards for Kansas and Ben Zapp. First and 10, Perry gets the ball, throws it to Jones. Xavier Jones, the fullback. Grabbing the pass from Perry. 15 yards on the reception for him. Bulldozes a couple guys over as he goes down. But a huge gain for the fullback. Kansas looking to use everyone today. The ten -yard line. Second and goal. Perry back in shotgun. Takes a snap. Hands it off to Zap. Zap finds the right side. And he's in for the touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run by Ben Zap finding the right side. The blocking absolutely superb on that right side. Sprung him open for the touchdown. Kansas scores first. Second and three. Thompson back looking. Under pressure. He's going to throw this right side. It's going to be caught by Landry Weber. 15 yards on the catch. Thompson, two for two, 22 yards so far today. Looking very good in this first drive. Third and 17 after the sack, Kansas State. Thompson in shotgun, gets it, throws to the left side. He's going to get first down to Brooks. That's 22 yards to Phillip Brooks. First down, Kansas State. Third and 13 after another sack, Kansas State throwing to the left. Going to find Linners, and he gets the first down is what the refs say. We'll see if there's any review there. First and 10 for Kansas. Thompson under center. 
Gonna fake the hand off to Vaughn. Throws to the right side. It's gonna be caught by Weber in the end zone. Kansas State touchdown. Kansas State gonna tie this one up seven to seven versus Kansas, their interstate rival. A huge game coming up here for both squads, as always, trying to bring home that Governor's Cup. Kansas out, second and eight. Perry back, looking, scrambles right, still looking, still looking. He throws it. It's going to be caught by the tight end, Lawrence. He's got some room. Finally pushed out after a 32-yard gain by Lawrence. Perry just waiting and waiting. The pocket held up. And Kansas took full advantage of it. The tight end with the first down and some extra yards before being shoved out of bounds by Kansas State. 17 seconds left. Might be the final play of the first quarter. Zap gets it. Another run to the right side. He's got some room. He's going to make a few guys miss. Break a few more tackles. And he is up the sideline. 77 yards so far in the first quarter for Zap. Perry on third and six. Going to decide to keep this one. He's going to get 13 yards for being brought down. Second and goal. Perry changing some plays. Looking. Scrambling right. Looking. He has guy wide open. That's going to be Bailey in the end zone. And he catches it. Touchdown, Kansas. Bailey just wide open. I'm not sure if he just did get covered or if it's broken coverage or what, but just standing in the end zone, waiting for the ball. Beautiful pass by Perry and a touchdown. Kansas up 14 7. Perry back, fakes the run, throws it to tight end. The tight end gets first down from Lawrence. 17 yards on that reception. Another open guy. K State seemed to have problem in the secondary covering everyone as Lawrence was wide open. Second and goal. Perry going to hand this one up to Zap up the middle, and he's going to get in for the touchdown. Three-yard touchdown run by Ben Zap, his second of the day, and that's going to set the school record for a year. Congratulations, young man, with that record. First and 10, Perry going to hand it off to Zap. Zap going to break a guy, and he's got the left side. He might be gone. The 50, the 40, the 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Ben Zap. 79-yard touchdown run for him. He made a guy, broke a tackle in the backfield, and found the gap. Beautiful blocking by the offensive line and Ben Zapp takes full advantage of it uses all of his speed and outruns everyone on the football field Kansas 28, K-State 7 3rd 9, Thompson back shotgun takes this, he's looking he throws left, they need something here, Brooks is going to get a first down Kansas State needs a score before half here to keep this one close down 21 already 2.30 left to go. Thompson back. Looks. Throws over the middle. Find Brooks again. Brooks not able to get the first down. It's going to bring up a fourth and two. Be interesting to see if they go for it. Third and two. Perry going to hand this off to Zap. 143 left. Zap another huge gain. Breaking some tackles. 22 yards for him. Having himself a crazy good day. 120 left to go in the second quarter. Kansas looking to score before half. Throws to the right side. Finds Weems. And Weems going to carry it up. 18-yard reception for him. And Kansas looking to score before half. The time ticking down. Fourth and five. The kick up and good. And Kansas going to take it 31-7 to into half. Good to see Kansas playing well against their interstate rival. Second half um, upon us. Thompson back, throwing over the middle, finds Brooks. Kansas State going to have to get some offense going here if they're going to stay in this one. A good start there with 16 yards to Brooks. Second and 10, Thompson in the shotgun. Takes a snap, looks, got some time in the pocket. Throws to the right, finds Knowles. And Knowles with a great catch and first down for him. Kansas State moving quick. Second and five, Vaughn going to take it. Going to hand off to Vaughn, and Vaughn's going to find some room on the left side. He's got 17 yards on the run there. The handoff delayed, and it actually ended up working out for him as the Kansas defense was a little scattered there and a first down for K-State. Third and 13, Thompson back, looking, looking. Has all day, throws the end zone. It's going to be knocked down by Kansas Looks like he had a guy over there, but not able to come up with it. And at 4th and 13, they're going to have to kick the field goal up and good. Kansas State 10, KU 31. First and 10 for Perry. Takes a snap. 
back looking. He's going to scramble right. Another guy wide open this time. Gallagher is going to make a spin move and brought down after 31 yards on the reception. It looks like Kansas just wide open on these routes. Perry gets a second and third. He's going to pitch it back to Bailey on a beautiful read option. And Bailey's going to run this one in for 37-yard touchdown run by Tyrell Bailey. Kansas up 38-10. to A beautiful option there by the quarterback. He fakes the handoff to Zap. That leads Bailey wide open on the outside. Pitches it out there. Touchdown, Kansas. First and 10, Thompson back looking. He's going to get brought down on the left side. Looks like Hugh Bix got a hold of him. And once that monster touches you, you're going down. You're not getting away from him and that strong hands of Hugh Bix. Second and two for Kansas. Perry can hand it off to Zap. Zap again finds the right side and finally brought down after 11 yards. Zap having himself a huge day. It'll be interesting. 272 yards so far. It'll be interesting to see how far they use him having the lead so big. Kansas going to kick the field goal here, making the score 41 to 10. 40 seconds left to go in the third quarter. After the kickoff, K State needs a score here. Howard in. Throws to the left side. He's going to find Weber. That's going to be a first down on 16-yard reception for him. Howard's going to pitch this one back to Vaughn. Vaughn's going to make a guy miss, but not able to make the second guy miss. And that's going to be a loss. And it's going to be fourth and two. K-State's fate is in this one. If they lose the ball here, it could all be over. And it looks like a false start penalty on Kansas State. And that might just be the nail in the coffin for the Wildcats. 219 left. Perry looking. He's going to throw the ball away. And it looks like they are going to go for the field goal here. It's up and it is good. So Kansas adding another three, making the score 44 10. Kansas State trying to do something here before the end of the game. And they're going to do something. They're going to fumble. Ward's going to pick it up. Finally brought down. The only turnover in the game. K-State's actually done a really good job of holding on to the ball until right there where Rima Tucker gets in there, rips it out. Kansas looking to score again. 120 left to go on the clock. I'm assuming Zap gets this. Everyone knows he's getting it. He still gets it, and he still gets in. That's going to be his fourth rushing touchdown of the game, tying the record at Kansas. Kansas is going to win this one 51 to 10 on the back of Ben Zap. 40 carries 359 yards for four rushing touchdowns. Had himself an amazing day, and we will head over to the press conference once Coach Slacker Gaming's ready. Welcome to 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk Football Radio. Coach, Ben won the player of the game, but this game might have won him that Heisman. What was going on today where he rushed for 359 yards and four touchdowns? I, th I think the biggest thing is Ben has this type of talent, and he just put it on stand today. I mean, he showed you everything he could do. He had a great game. We liked the matchup we saw with the rushing defense. So we called plays that we thought would benefit our offense and Ben and the offensive line and Ben did the rest of it themselves. Do you think this game wins Ben the Heisman Trophy? I think that all the Heisman winners have had that one big game or more a year. And I think this is a Heisman type of game. Do, do I think he's one of the best players in the NCAA? Yes, but there is also a lot of other great talent. We have a bunch of the greatest players in the NCAA right now on our team. So it, it's going to be interesting to see, but I'm excited and happy for him to have such a big game and year so far. Thank you, Coach. Kansas wins this year's Governor's Cup against rival Kansas State with a score of 51-10. to Kansas improving to 12-0 and on the season and will be playing a tough Texas Longhorn squad next week for the conference championship in Lawrence, Kansas. This is 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk Football Radio, and we'll see you guys next week.